What the hell is the matter with you people? You have got to... It's been months since my last video on Tetrahedroverse. In the meantime, I've had a small stroke and a small heart attack. And I am going to be dead before anybody picks up on this and takes it and runs with it and gets it out there. This is... Maybe nobody understands it. Maybe it's not possible for you all to understand what I'm talking about here. I didn't think it was that difficult. All right. Well, we'll just try and make it... We'll try and clarify some things so you, that you all aren't just making mistakes and thinking it's weird or whatever. This is the packing of 12 around 1. This is the packing of 12 around 1 that our Buckminster Fuller arranged, and he is wrong. This is wrong. Kepler is wrong. Hales and Ferguson are wrong about uh, about the packing of, of spheres in small numbers <clears throat> or inside a spherical container. Here's a model. 12 spheres around one sphere. Guess what? This puppy consists of man those are consists of 12 chromium steel uh, ball bearings from bokabearings.com and one one neodymium Iron boron ow dang magnet <sighs> from KJ Magnetics dot com and what happens here is this this one guy this is the same size as these guys, okay? But it's the, it's the only one that's a magnet. This one goes in the center so that we can have 12 of these guys around one and they'll stick so that you can manipulate them and move them around. Here's a six. Let's add three. Let's make this thing that our Buckminster Fuller got wrong or incompletely. Look at that. You'll see other places on the web where they're packing spheres. They don't pack them like I pack them. This is tetrahedroverse. This is the explanation for the universe. And you people just aren't... Somebody's got to take this and run with it. Look, this is not tight. Buckminster Fuller says it's tight. He says it's tight. Kepler says it's tight. They're both wrong. It's not tight. Look at this. Look at this. We can shift it around. We can shift these puppies around. There's wobble in these 12 around the outside. That's the whole point here. The whole thing that allows Tetrahedraverse to be flexible, to be a model of the universe instead of just a, some, some strange crystal. There's a gap. These are not, it's not solid, it's not stable. And these are models. All models are misleading. This is the model. Each of these spheres is supposed to be the minimum distance closeness to which a point, a dimensionless, non coalescible point, can be approached. It's a model. Inside each one of these guys is the important thing, the point, the dimensionless point. And these are just resistances. Look at this puppy. These are not, it's not, it's not a crystal. If you don't get this, you won't get that. And if you don't get that, it's going to die with me. Look here. Nobody has shown you this before. It's a five. And a five. And these squares. And there's five of the squares. Not four of the squares. And they can be moved around. 
all of these 12 are always staying in contact with the one in the center. They're flexible. They can move. Imagine these. Imagine these guys moving around, just jittering in place. Look, uh, this is taking too long. Get yourself a model. Buy yourself a, a neodymium iron boron chromium plated sphere magnet, any size you want, from K and J Magnetics, where I get mine. Then buy yourself 12 same size, same material chromium balls from Boca Bearings and put them together. Show yourself that this is right. I got to get this thing out and, and I need my desk space back. So sorry about ranting and raving, but hey, I'm getting old. I'm going to die. This is going to be lost. It's going to go with me. If there's nobody out there to take it and run with it, to understand it and push it further, it'll die too. Damn it.